Hmm, nice day today. <sighs> Still not summer though. Still can't go get bikini eyes and get on the beach. Long, long time before I could do that again. Oh well, maybe I'll try and figure out a way to get out of town sometime during the winter. Um, <clears throat> so, just a little, uh, just checking in with you guys today. I wanted to let you know what happened to me on the weekend. I, uh, I wound up going to the gym, a regular gym, uh, with a friend of mine, and um, because the, uh, there's so much equipment there, I thought that I would uh, try a little experiment with myself and um, try and jack my weights up to something that I could only do for a couple of sets for maybe only two or three reps. So I took what I've been working with at three times ten, three, rep, uh, three sets times ten reps, and I jacked up to an amount I thought would be, um, would be hard, really, really hard. And I found out I've been holding myself back, man. <laughs> wow, I'm, I've been doing three times ten for a bit now, a few weeks, and um, I have to admit I haven't been hitting failure, but I've been feeling pretty tapped by the last rep on the last set. And so I thought that's sort of where I'm at. And um, the levels that you can jack, that you can only jack it up with equipment is like five whole pounds. I thought, oh, didn't even bother trying to jack my weights up because five pounds is a lot. I'll never do it. So, you know, anyway, so I'm at the gym and I'm, <clears throat> pardon me. Historically, I've been rowing with a 40 pound dumbbell, doing one arm rows with a 40 pound dumbbell. And um, so I thought, okay, well, I'll grab a 45. That'll be hard, that'll be hard. I did three times ten, a 45 pound dumbbell. So I thought, okay, whatever. So I grabbed a 50 pound dumbbell, and um, what do you know? I can still do like six reps with a 50 pound dumbbell. So until I hit failure, and I really, I mean, and then I'm done, tapped, done. <laughs> so um, same deal with chest press. I was, uh, what was I, what I usually uh, chest press with? Uh, 30s, I think, so, or tw uh, 25s. And so I grabbed the 30s, discovered I could still do 10. Grabbed the 35s, and yeah, I'm tapping out about, about 6. So if I was doing 40, I could probably do the, what I'm trying to do, two, 2 to 3 reps only before I hit it. But I also want to make sure I maintain my form. And I'm not sure I can maintain my form for, even for 2 or 3 reps at that heavy a weight. So, but the, thing that I'm trying, the point I'm trying to make here is that I've been holding myself back. I had no idea I was actually that strong uh, because I haven't tried. I should have tried, you know, so uh, it's time for me to go to go buy some more equipment for the home here because um, I don't have 50 pound dumbbells here and I need them. <laughs> what do you know? Never thought. So, um, yeah, so, you know, when you're when you're working out and if you're making it three times ten and you're actually getting to, to ten reps on the third set and you haven't actually hit failure, then you're probably also doing the same to yourself, holding yourself back and um, assuming you can't, you know, you can't because you feel tapped, but you haven't hit failure. So assuming that you can't, and then so not trying because you assume. And you know what happens when you assume, right? You break the word down, it says ass, you, me, so you make an ass out of you and me. Anyway, um, so don't hold yourself back. If you're getting all your reps done and you're not hitting failure, then jack it up and test yourself. Just go ahead and see. All you can do is find out you were wrong, right? Or you can find out you're right <laughs> and like get a really good workout in. And let me tell you, I got some serious happening doms right now in my, uh, in my back, my chest, my shoulders from this little experiment because I hit every body part with this experiment. And yeah, ouch, holy moly. And, but I'm stronger than I thought I was. So that's my cue. I'm off to Fitness Town to, uh, to buy some more dumbbells <laughs> and uh, stock up here at home. So anyway, you guys, I hope you're having a great week. And um, hey, we'll see you again soon, okay? Take care.